Hi everyone, thanks for joining us this evening. It's Brenda here from Port Elizabeth. I teach in a foundation phase school called Cotswold Prep. This evening we're going to look at Google Docs um, and how we can make a newsletter or newspaper for foundation phase children. In our school, particularly, literacy is very important because our, most of our students are second language. So anything stimulating that we can do um, to build up their language skills is very much appreciated. The, news, um, the newsletter template that I found um, was through a, a tweet about two years ago, I guess, uh, and it's one of the things I saved in my Digo account and when I went looking for the template this is how I did it I was logged into my Google account and I went to my drive the drive is the new name for Google Docs okay um, sorry. oops I've got to move this across okay. I wanted to create a newspaper for from a template. So I had to go looking for my template. It opens the page. But to make it easier, um, I went to look for a new newspaper for elementary uh, students. Because that's the sort of description I've been given. And there I have it. I've got two pages. This is page one, and this is page two. Now you can choose if you've only got a, you only want to do um, one newspaper per group. You might only want to use one page, but what I did is I got each group of two or three to do a small part of the newsletter, and I used both pages. Once you have your you've found your template. Um, you can decide then if you're going to share the URL with your students and get them to collaboratively write their newsletter online or if you're going to do what I did the first time I downloaded the template and saved it in a shared folder on our network I also put in some photos and other things that I thought the children might need um, if you're going to use the, the template collaboratively online, you will then have to copy the, the URL and either share it through your network somehow. I, what I do is I have a, an intranet site and I link everything from there. But you would decide what, how you would share it. And then the children can open it and work online. My first attempt, as I say, was um, downloaded and they had to work on it. They actually worked in Word and then we copied and pasted. The editing team copied and pasted all the, the articles. And it was great fun at the time because we just had a new principal. So one group went off to take a photo of her and interview her. They went with their questions. Um, other groups did sporting events that week or interesting things that had happened um, I unfortunately don't still don't have a copy of that newsletter any longer um, very silly of me but the children enjoyed that I've also used it in grade two let me just open this this one let me just open this one um, and what I did with the grade twos I also downloaded a hard copy but their theme at the time was fire and I got a couple of videos from YouTube about uh, fire safety for children. They were quite American but I just took bits of them and it was the principle of, of safety. Um, the children then after watching we had a little discussion and we decided what we would do to keep safe in our homes. And I, they then worked in their pairs, and each pair, um, first of all, chose an aspect of safety. It might have been 
don't leave the pot ha handle facing out or don't leave hot oil on the table or um, never play with matches you know, all the different things and they had to draw one of the team had to draw a picture in paint and the other person had to start writing the article and then they they worked together on the article um, editing making sure it was all correct and they copied and pasted it into well I copied and pasted it into the newsletter format the reason I did that is they were gr they're grade twos they're quite unsophisticated um, when it comes to computers most of them don't have access out of the side of their, their lesson so for from a time point of view it was just better for me to do that and then we were able to print them and put them up in their classroom which well, it was great, um, and the teachers were delighted to have some backup. This week, a couple of weeks ago, we discovered that, of course, it's it's easy, now, why didn't I think of it, to collaborate on a newsletter online. And Fiona and I gave it a trial run on the weekend, and wow, you can do it. So on Monday, I planned my lesson for the grade threes, so that they would write news articles in the same template online um, and put in photos from our photo bank. Because it's, they're in grade 3, they're leaving the school at the end of this month, so it seemed like a good rounding off exercise to do. Unfortunately, our internet connection was quite slow on Monday and they struggled. Um, they managed, the one group managed, but it wasn't easy. Um, I'm just going to see if I can find the items on my, my drive. Um, this one. Because it was so slow, they struggled to put in pictures. And once the pictures were in, they struggled to resize them. I had to do this afterwards. But they managed to get a few things in. And this was done online. Um, they started to tell the story about Flat Rosie, but ran out of time because of the, the slow. But you get the idea. Um, that's as far as that lot got. Right, so back to our templates. Um, I thought it would be a good idea, if we've got time now, for me to share a template with you. Uh, what I have to do first. Oh, if, we, if I'm going to, if we're all going to work together, I have to first go to over here. This button says share, and at the but when you click on it, it says private only to me. So you click it, and then you change the private part. So you make it anyone with the link, and then save it. Um, and um, anyone with a link can view and we want to change that to edit, can edit. Right, so now if I can get, if I can get the, um, the link to you, we can work on a collaborative paper together right now. Let's see, here's the link, and I'm going to paste it in the sharing box, um, the chat box, and if you click on it, let's see if we can write a letter together. Um, 